Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the sub procedure. We know that in the dot net, if we talk about the procedure and functions, then there are two main type of procedures. The one is the sub procedure, where we are having no return type. Second one is the function procedure, where function is returning something. Then there are two other categories. That is the event procedure. Event procedure is a procedure where the procedure is attached with some of the control, just like with the button. Whenever you click on the button, if the function is called, that is called event procedure and property procedure. Whenever the procedure is attached with some of the property. So now we are talking about the sub procedure. We should also understand that sub procedure is the procedure who is having nothing to return. So in the short, if we are saying the procedure that is called the sub procedure. So the sub procedure short name is procedure and function procedure short name is the function. So if somebody is normally saying procedure, we should understand that that is the sub procedure. If somebody is normally saying function, so we should understand that that is the function procedure. Procedure or the sub procedure that we are discussing now. So to understand that we are taking the example of the C program, we should assume that let us suppose we are having the void. Void means no return type. And let us suppose the function is sum. Now here I am taking a function where there is no argument because the bracket is empty. So no argument. Then the bracket will start. Afterward, we are having certain lines. Then afterward, bracket close. So this is the normal procedure of the C programming. Now we are going to convert this procedure into the dot net. Whenever we are having the void, so void means sub. So in the dot net, we say it is the sub. Now, afterward, we are going to provide the name. So the name of procedure will be same. That is sum. If the arguments are not passed, then these brackets will be empty. We know that in the dot net, these curly brackets are not there. So to make the block, we are having end sub. So sub is ending with the end sub. Now afterward, here we are having certain statements. So these statements will be as it is. So we have converted the procedure of C programming into the dot net. So the first procedure is of C programming. And the second which we have converted, that is of vb.net. Now we should understand that their calling is totally same. If you are going to call this, they will be same. Now to call the procedure, we should be taking the name of the procedure. We know that the name of procedure is sum. So simply we are going to write the sum. Now afterward, we are having the brackets which are empty. So you provide the empty bracket. So this is how we can call the procedure. This is the procedure calling. There is no argument. So it is going to call simply. Now we are taking another example of C procedure, which is having the arguments. So let us suppose that we are going to take the same void. Void means no return type. Then afterward, let us suppose that same function is there, which is sum. Now in the bracket, I am passing certain arguments. We know that we used to write int a if we are passing certain arguments now here the bracket inside the bracket we are performing certain operation then bracket close now this is the procedure of c programming we are converting this procedure into the dot net now so here we should understand that whenever the void is mentioned so we should replace the void with the sub now afterward, the name of the procedure, let us suppose that the name is sum. The name can be any sum, multiply, divide, it is totally up to us. Now bracket start. So here the bracket is there. Then int a. How to write int a in the dot net? We know that we write a as integer. So this is how we have to write a as integer. Now bracket close. So this is how we have provided the procedure in the dot net. We know that brackets are not there. So far we are having the end sub. So end sub is provided. Now here inside we are having certain statements. So statements will be as it is. 
So this is how we can take the procedure of .NET. Now .NET automatically apply by val here. The by val means this is the by value method. There are two types of parameter passing. The first one we are having is the by val. Whenever we are going to call a function and we are just passing the values that is called by val. And there is a second one which is called the by ref which is the by reference. We know that in the C programming we call the function in two ways. One is the simple calling that is the by value method. Another is the calling with the help of star and the and operator. Now that is nothing but the passing the address. So whenever we deal with the address that is called the by reference method. So if you are not going to apply any of the thing dotted automatically apply the by val because this by val is the default. So by val is provided by the dotted here. So here we have converted the normal C procedure into the VB dotted procedure. Now we are going to call the procedure. Calling of the procedure is same as the C programming. We should understand that. Let us suppose that here we are having the name of procedure. So we will write the name that is sum. Now here the bracket start. So we are applying the bracket. These brackets are not empty. Some integer variable is there. So here either we can pass some integer value or we can pass on some of the variable who is having the integer value. So any of the thing can be passed. Either we can pass on the normal value or the integer type of variable which contain the value. So this is the calling of procedure. So we can say that sub procedure is a procedure which cannot return any value. The procedure who is not returning a value is called the sub procedure or in the short we say it as the procedure. The procedure who is returning the value that is called function procedure or in the short we say it as the function. So if somebody is saying you what is the difference between procedure and function so you should understand that procedure is a procedure which cannot return the value. It can also be called as sub procedure and function procedure is a procedure who return the value in the short it is called the function. Now we should understand that in the sub procedure parentheses are very important. They are not optional. If you take the example of the procedure that is sum where one argument is passed here the parentheses are provided. But if you talk about the normal procedure sum where there is no argument even parentheses are provided. So parentheses are not optional they are compulsory. So even there is no argument passed still we have to provide the parentheses. So if we are not passing some argument even if we have to provide the empty parentheses. So that is really must. Now if you are going to call this procedure then procedure name followed by parentheses are required. So if you are going to call this procedure then we need the name of the procedure then empty parentheses if no parameter. Otherwise if some parameter is there then we should provide the name of procedure then in the parentheses we have to provide the parameter which is required. So this is how we can call the sub procedure. Now we are learning the syntax of sub procedure. So this one is the syntax of sub procedure. The first of all we are having is the access specifier. So in the access specifier we can provide the public or the private as per our requirement. Public means access to everybody. Private means only access to the specific class. Now afterward we provide sub. Sub means nothing but the void. So here we can compare that. This is the sub we have provided. Then name. So the name of procedure that can be sum, multiply, any, any name we can provide. Then afterward bracket start. So here the bracket started. Then afterward argument as data type. Let us suppose that we are having int a. So that will be a as integer. So here we can see that a as integer. So that is nothing but the argument as data type. Now by val keyword will be automatically applied by the dot net. 
Here we are having comma. If you want to provide multiple arguments, so that is for the dot dot means we can provide the different arguments like argument one as data type, comma two as data type. Similarly, multiple arguments can be provided. Then bracket close afterward. Now after that we are going to provide the statement. Let us suppose that what this function is doing. So this statement will be provided. This is the lines we have provided for the statement. Then at the end we are having is the end sub. So this is ending with the end sub. So this one is a syntax. With the help of that we can create the sub procedure. Now we are going to take some real life examples of few programs. With the help of that we will understand the sub procedure. The first example we are taking is the sub procedure without argument. So here we are having the sub procedure without argument. So first of all we have created a form which is form 1. Then we dragged and dropped one label. This is label 1. We change the text that is sub procedure without arguments. Now afterward we dragged and dropped one button. This is button 1. We change the text that is click. Now double click on this button. This coding will open. Here we are having the class form 1. So for this form 1 class is created. That is public because the class will be accessed outside. So it is ending with the end class. Now inside that the button function is created. That is private because it is accessed inside. Then afterwards sub. Sub means no return type. Then button underscore click that is the name of function. Two arguments are passed automatically by the dot net. This is going to handle the button one dot click means whenever you click on the button this code will run. Now here above that we have created the procedure. This procedure is the public can be accessed outside. Sub sub means void ankit that is the name of procedure brackets are empty means no arguments are passed and is ending with the end sub just like the button is going to end with the end sub. So whenever we call this procedure with the help of the button we click on the button then this procedure will be called and here the first line is the comment because it is starting with the code that welcome to sub procedure without document. Now here is the function calling the name of function and then brackets. So here the parenthesis we have provided now it is going to search the name Ankit afterward above it is finding the name. So this is going to call the procedure. Here the Ankit is called and inside that we are having the message box. So message box is displayed and there inside that hello. So this hello is printed. So this is the first example where we have taken the sub procedure without argument. Now we are going to take another example where we are learning the sub procedure with argument. So this one is a program of sub procedure with argument. So here we have created a form which is form 1. Then we dragged and dropped one label. So this is label 1. We change the text of the label which is sub procedure with argument. Then we dragged and dropped one button. This is button 1. Then we change the text which is click. Now we double click on the button then coding will open. And here we are having the class form 1. So for this form 1 the class is created. This is public. Means it can be accessed outside. Then ending with the end class. Here inside that one procedure for the button is created. Which is sub. Sub means no return type. Button underscore click. So that is a name. Private means only access inside the class. Then end sub. Here the two parameters are passed by the dot net. Then this is handled by button one dot click. Means when you click on the button this code will run. Above that we have created one sub procedure which is having the no return type. Public means it can be accessed outside. Sub means no return type. Ankit that is the name of procedure. This is ending with the end sub. Here we can see that a as integer so this is first variable comma b as integer this is second variable and these both are passed by value method value method means only copy will be passed now we are going to click on the button so when we click on this button the coding will run and here we are having single quote then welcome to sub procedure with argument so this is the line which is the comment the compiler will not read this then afterward we are having the function calling. We can see that the name is the 
Ankit. So here it is going to call the procedure which is Ankit. And in the bracket we are having 10 and 20. So two parameters are there. Parameters of the argument both are the same thing. So this is going to call the procedure Ankit. And two parameters or the arguments are passed 10 and 20. So the 10 is coming here and 20 is going here. So here A is having the value 10 now. B is having the value which is 20. Then afterward going inside message box. So message box is printed. We are having the hello. So hello is printed over there. Then concat with A plus B. We know that the value of A is 10 and the value of B is 20. So if we make the sum of 10 and 20 that is nothing but the 30. So here 30 is displayed. So this is how we have learned the sub procedure with argument. So now here we have understood that sub procedure is a procedure that do not return anything. So we have taken the programs with the help of that we understand the sub procedure with argument and without argument. So that is all about the sub procedure.